Whenever a ping, an ICMP request is being sent from one of your FortiGate interfaces or sources, the defaults are five times, that is the packet is being sent five times. It has a data size of 56 bytes. It is being sent in a one second interval and you have a two second timeout. Let's see how we can unleash your ping settings. To get more easy setup tips for your FortiGate firewall, subscribe now and don't forget to click on the bell notification and you won't miss anything. Using ping, an ICMP request is probably one of the most used yet simple network troubleshooting tools. So let's unleash our ping setting and see what can be done. We will start with the execute ping and then we will use the view settings so we can see what is our ping default settings. So we can see that we have a repeat count of five times. We have a data size of 56 bytes. We have a timeout of two seconds. Currently the interface is auto, which means that it actually goes to our routing table and sees the best route out. We have an interval of one second. That is, your ping will be sent one second after the echo response received. You can use an adaptive settings, which we will do very soon to see that you can actually send the second or the third ICMP request immediately as the ping response uh, comes back. The time to live is 64 hops. Let's see if we have any interesting, more interesting stuff here. No. The second thing that we can do is to set the uh, ping options and see what are the ping options. And we can see that we can set an adaptive ping, we can set different data size, we can set DF bit, which is a parameter at the IP header. We will look at it. Uh, we can set the interface that the ping will be sent from. Um, we will use our marketing interface and send ping from there. Uh, we can set the hex format of the ping. We actually can uh, add uh, different characters to our uh, empty hex space in our ping. We will look at it also. And yes, we can set the source, the timeout, time to leave, and more. So let's start with a simple ping towards towards Google. Okay, that's google.com. That works. Now we'll use the same ping towards Google DNS server and see if uh, we have a DNS resolve. That also works. Great. Now let's um, let's close that for a minute. Let's move to my Ubuntu device. All right. All right. Now my Ubuntu device sits on the actually it sits on the marketing interface. Let's just get back. Let's log in. All right, so let's um, start by pinging my Ubuntu device, which is at the 10.0.4.9. Everything goes well. You can see that I have a very big ICMP uh, packet. Let's see what is the reason. Execute ping 
options you know what let's do another thing let's once you have um, settings that are not your default settings remember the default settings is 56 bytes uh, you can reset them using the execute ping options and reset now let's send the same ping again and let's see what is the side that's 64 bytes remember that your um, data size your icmp data size is 56 bytes you have an 8 byte header for the icmp packet what you see here is actually the payload itself plus the header that is 56 plus the 8 byte header let's um, let's see again how we change the data size that's the way that we change the data size let's set it to 128 bytes and let's now um, change another settings which is the adaptive ping your icmp request is being sent in an interval of one second now you can change it so that it will be sent immediately as soon as the icmp response gets back to do so you have to choose uh, enable another setup is the df the df bit what is the df bit df stands for don't fragment that is don't fragment the uh, packet even if it's bigger than the interface that is supposed to accept it so if you have on the other side an interface with an MTU uh, of X values and your ICMP packet is bigger than that so your ICMP packet can actually be dropped so be careful how you use the DF bit let's keep it uh, at no now let's see what is the effect of adaptive ping versus the regular settings so let's just execute ping let's use a repeat count of 20 packets and let's uh, execute our ping towards Google sorry google.com all right so you can see that we have an interval of one second now if we will use the uh, adaptive ping option let's just enable it let's send the same uh, ping and you can see that you're actually having a sort of an ICMP fluid. Uh, it's not hundreds of, uh, of packets a second, but it is, it is still much faster than the usual interval.